Hello, everybody. So I don't know if I'm saying goodnight to the goats or if they're saying goodnight to me. They're all buttoned in. I wait till a few people show up before I f continue. We're just saying goodnight to some goats. They come running in the tent when it's time for bed. They like to be in here. We got ourselves a heater in our old military tent, U.S. Army issued. Oh, Carmel is so tired. This is Carmel. Say hi, Carmel. Hello. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Susie. Hi, Carol. Hi, Judy. We're saying goodnight. Oh, we can't say, you know what? I didn't say and the pig, but we're saying goodnight to Pearl as well. She's a cutie. She's a cutie. Hi, little Pearl. How you doing? Oh, how you do it? <coughs> You're welcome. Goat therapy. I know. I didn't think it was a thing. Oh, Dusty doesn't like Pearl. Dusty's kind of head buttoning her away. So we got our crew over here that are loading up on their bellies. This is, uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting attacked by a pig over here. She wants some attention. Yeah. Good evening from where, Teresa? I didn't see where you're from. <laughs> All right, anyways, we got Ralphie over here stuffing his belly for both before bed. Patches. Good night, Patches. This one's Patches because he's got patches all over his body. Ralphie, kind of remind you of the Christmas story. He's got that funny look to him. So that's uh, that's why he got his name. Bandit, because he just, he reminds me of a, a bandit, like, you know, who would put on a bandana and rob a bank, old western times. And he's our softest goat, actually. He's very soft. I can't see this one's head over here, but I'm assuming it's probably Dottie and then Marshmallow. Right here, I can kind of tell from the backside. This is Bessie. Look at her. Bessie got patches. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Which baby are you asking if survived? Because we've had a whirlwind of a week. Just a whirlwind. Very hard to keep up on everyone. Uh, let me look at this here. Well, I could just give you an update, but anyways, this is Bessie. So yeah, so it all started uh, with Hope. Hope is a survivor. She um, she survived. She's the one that was born breech. Um, she's doing good. We do updates every morning with her and periodically through the day. So we will be talking about Hope tomorrow morning at 7.11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will say hi to Hope. Let's come over here and say hi to these guys. And then after Hope, I had another goat that I got from somebody. <clears throat> who was presenting some sort of illness, um, high temperature, whatever. Uh, it was a emotional, emotional time, but her name was Cinnamon, and unfortunately we lost Cinnamon. Um, then I got a call. Hi, Iceland. Wow. What's the temperature in Iceland right now? I want to know. Ralphie. Doesn't he look like a Ralphie? I mean, come on. He totally looks like a Ralphie. He's not chewing bubble gum. That's called his. You're the only one from uh, Australia. I love Australia. Never been there, but gotta say I love it. <clears throat> this is Pretzel. Pretzel was born um, <clears throat> over the summer, and he is just a beautiful little goat. I want to make him a stud goat in the future. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, this is Dottie right here. She was my escape artist. If you watch some of our reels, Dottie likes to escape everything. Poconos, yeah, you're really close. You can come down. So Dottie here, Petal. This is Petal. Say hi, Petal. This is Brooks. Brooks didn't have a name, but then we brought some goats to a birthday party, and uh, we let either we let somebody name him Brooks, or the other kid, the kid's name was Brooks. Um, this one looks like a gremlin, so I named him Gizmo. This is Gizmo. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, Ralphie got little teeny horns. Gizmo, he's a pygmy. He's older, probably seven months, so their bodies stay much smaller than the Nigerian dwarfs. Ralphie, I believe, is an alpine cross, so he's going to get pretty big. I believe. I don't know. Half of the goats, I don't know what they are. Basically, what's your fridge? I don't know. Let me look here. 511. Oh, Ralphie. Look at... I got all the attention. They're over here. I have too many goats. Too many. One day, we will do an inventory on all my goats, but I got a lot. These are just the ones that are teenagers, I call them. My teenagers hang out here. Um, we assembled some heaters today. I want to say thank you to a generous uh, donator who ordered them from Lowe's, and we picked them up. So we got some extra heaters. I just finished assembling them with my buddy Murph. And this is what we got rolling here. Uh, it keeps the water from freezing. So we're good with the water. Hello. These guys are my quarantine guys. Um, they've already been treated for everything. But I quarantine them and I socialize them and get them 4 degrees Celsius. I don't know Celsius, unfortunately. Maybe one day I'll learn. It's Monday morning. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. This is Brady. <clears throat> I named him Brady the Goat. Greatest of all time. Get it? <laughs> I picked up a costume for my turkey today, everyone. Y'all going to have to look out for my... Um, I'm going to try to make a short reel. And since it's Thanksgiving and we're not going to eat him, I'm going to dress Tom the turkey up in a uh, costume and then make him play dead like he normally does and <laughs> do something cute with that play off of that where he's going to be like don't eat me but we don't eat him he's our friend that's caramel right there so let's just say good night to everybody now that i got a viewing here we got 200 people hello everybody from pennsylvania this is a impromptu good night to all the goats got a couple in here that are new we don't have names for them well, i have names for one of them you guys ready for this <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you. All right. Here we go. I got to get in here, though, to describe why I am naming him what I'm naming him. So, again, these guys aren't fully socialized yet. They're not. They haven't gone through my socialization program. I usually come in here. I sit down with them. I let them come over to me. But you can see they're all running into the corner. So I go to hold them and touch them. They don't want anything to do with me. They actually make noise. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, for the heaters, so I got a name for one of them. Okay, and it's this guy right here, and we're gonna call him Eight Ball. <laughs> we're gonna have to describe what's going on here. All right, so meet Eight Ball. This is Eight Ball. He's my buddy. He's getting he's getting friendlier, but you know when I look at my goats, I try to look at their personalities, what they look like, something that I can remember. Um, so eight ball here. This is why he's called eight ball. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> he's like, don't tease me, dad. Yeah, that's like a magic eight ball. Um, all you gotta do is shake. It. <coughs> all you gotta do is shake it and ask for the answers. <laughs> so that's eight ball. Uh, we will develop some names for these other guys here as I come along. All right, 39. Oh, that's not bad. I can I can deal with that. Oh, look, see, they're so scary. But they come along. They, they'll come along. It takes about a week or two. Um, name the triplets, two girls and the boy. I don't think so yet. Uh, the ones inside the house. We're going to see them tomorrow morning. Um, I'm outside in the military tent. So I just wanted to say goodnight to these guys. They don't get as much attention as, every, as everyone. So let's do this. Say goodnight, eight ball. Good night. Uh, Brady, Tom Brady. Good night, pedal. Good night, freedom. Good night, Dusty. Good night, Bambi. Good night, Patches. Good night, Fawn. Good night, Stripe. Good night, Greta. Uh, this one's hiding right here. Who's this? Good night, Kutz. This is Kutz. S'mores. Where are you at? Good night, S'mores. Right here is S'mores. She's so pretty. She's a pretty girl. Good night, Brooks. 
Good night, Nelly. Good night, Carmel. Good night, Mama Llama. Good night. Good night, Wally. Good night, Liberty. Good night, Justice. Yeah, we got a Freedom, Liberty, and Justice. They were born on the 4th of July. All right. Gizmo, where'd you go? I know you ran off somewhere. Who are we forgetting? Good night, Bessie. It's Bessie the cow. Good night, Bandit. Good night, Pearl. Somebody over here on the other side. Oh, good night, Murph. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> good night, Dottie. Hard to see over here. Good night, Marshmallow. Um, and you guys already saw Gizmo. He's around somewhere. Gizmo and uh, Stripe. They're from the Gremlins. So we're going to just say good night to them. I'm going to log off. Get your little <laughs> nighttime fix. It was a long day on the farm today. I'm going to try to make some notes and fill you all in tomorrow morning at 7 11. Yeah, they're all Pearl hugs. You want, oh, you want to see what happens when Pearl gets a hug? All right, you ready for this? Let's do it. Pearl, where'd you go? Where'd the pig go? Pearl. I hear a snort. She's right here. I hear a snort. No, she's too busy grubbing. She's grubbing. She's looking yeah, for she's grubs. Getting, she's getting her eat old. Oh, I think she's making a bed. Nope, she's eating. Oh. All right, here's what happens when you pick up Pearl. You ready for this? Come on, she'll come to you. She'll come over here, hop on your lap. But then when you go to pick her up... Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. She's good. <laughs> She's so funny. And then she comes back over like, but you didn't, you didn't give me a bottle, Dad. And I only give her a bottle as a snack every now and then. Thank you, Elba, for the stars. I appreciate it. And whoever else sent stars, I wasn't looking at my, uh, screen so yeah pearl is amazing now pearl unfortunately yeah she's not going to stay on her farm we're not going to butcher her but i am going to be looking for a forever home for pearl one day uh after she gets a little bigger um she's a pot belly bought her at auction um and just giving her a good life here so one day if anybody wants a little pig she won't be little for long though she can go to your house yeah that was loud all right, pedal. Okay, really, I'm signing off now. Peace out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. It's been a crazy week. Um, my life is flipped upside down, all because of the hope, the hope video. Um, got a, some things to share tomorrow, and I just want to thank everybody for their support uh, and all of our animals and our adventures on our farm. And yeah, Tanya, you can have her. You just have to wait. <laughs> so. See you guys. Good night. Signing off from Pennsylvania.